all know about the Ender Dragon, the last boss in Minecraft. We also all know about the worst biome in the game, ice biomes. So what if we combine these two awful Minecraft things together? We would get the Ice Dragon, a new dragon I've added into the game with all sorts of ice-related powers. And now I have to survive 100 days as this Ice Dragon, all while three dragon hunters try and stop me from getting to day 100. On day one, I spawned in as a baby Ice Dragon. And I'm not gonna lie, I am super Aww. cute. Look at me. Look how cute I am when I'm crawling. This is incredible. But what's not incredible is only having five hearts of HP. Because right below me are three dragon hunters who are trying to take me out before day 100. So let's prevent that with our special Ice Dragon upgrade menu. Where we can turn into the Lord of Ice, unlock our Ice Breath, and get a Blue Raspberry Ice Pop? Well, those are just some of the quests we gotta do. In fact, we're gonna start by working to unlock Frosty Fangs. Because I need a weapon if I'm gonna survive against these guys. Now, you can see the quest in the upper left-hand corner of my screen. And we're gonna start by killing a villager. Because there's literally a village right in this spawn. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. The second I leave this platform, they're gonna come after me. So we gotta be quick about this. Ready? Three, two, one. Go! This way. Get that dragon! Get that baby! Now, as a frosty dragon, I can double jump just like you just saw. Let's leap down this mountain. Here we go. Oh, yes. There we go. Okay, down here. There's a villager on the roof. Okay, we'll worry about that later. Flap down here. Now, we don't take fall damage. So we can get away nice and quick and get ourselves some logs. In fact, the best place to probably get these logs is gonna be a village house. Go around back here. And let's start Where'd he go? Logs. Here we go. There's one. Looking for him. There's two. I see a bunch of nameplates in the village. Okay, we're gonna have to move. We're gonna have to move. Get this log. Find that ice dragon. Oh, they're coming in. They're coming in. Let's go this way. Let's go oh, this way. Oh, Frosty Dragon. There's wood missing here. What? No way. They're right there. Oh my god. I cannot believe I'm getting away. Dude, with he's this. around here for sure. Where is he? <laughs> one was literally just on top of me. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Let's break the block. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go back inside. Let's go back inside the building. Okay, cool. cool. They already looted it, so we should be good. Battling these dragon hunters takes a lot of strategy, which is actually a good thing because I've been playing a game all about battling and strategy. And that brings me to today's sponsor, Top Troops. Top Troops is genuinely the most fun mobile game I've ever ever played. So if you're into fantasy army type of games, you're definitely going to want to keep listening. In Top Troops, you get to launch your very own fantasy kingdom and then join in massive battles to conquer other kingdoms. Oh, and doing so is not easy, by the way, because you have to use a mix of strategy and merge tactics to try and come out on top. Now, look, you might be asking yourself, right, guy, what are merge tactics? Merge tactics allow you to level up your units so you can take out even stronger ones. It's really important when trying to win. Well, that and collecting and leveling troops, obviously. But anyway, if you love medieval battles as much as I do, this is the game for you. Because not only did Top Troops just release, but it is also 100% free on both Android and iOS devices. So what are you waiting for? Come hop on Top Troops and defeat the Dark Army as your kingdom builds its strength and becomes the strongest kingdom around. Oh, and for a limited time, if you do that, you'll get 100 gems and a king-size large chest. Simply scan the QR codes you see on screen right now to join in the game. Or click the link in the description down below to start your kingdom. And make sure you actually come play this game with me, because I'm waiting for you inside of top troops. Let's turn one of our logs into a crafting table. Let's quickly make ourselves a sword. Here we go. Oh, one of them's close. One of them's really close. This is not good. Quick, 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 quick. Sword. There we go. Boom. Let's make a pickaxe while we're at it. Come on, quick. Go. Oh, he's, they're cutting down the tree. They're cutting down the tree. Outside, outside, outside. Let's grab some stone. Just while we can. Let's grab this one. I see the ice dragon. Oh, oh there you don't. <laughs> Oh, dude, I'm making pickaxes. Yeah, make some tools. Dude, hold on, hold on. I got a sword, I got a sword, I got a sword. Oh, gosh! Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, what? No! Oh, oh, my God, hit him! Yes! Okay, we killed him. Okay, quick, this way, this way. Oh, we didn't kill him with a crit, so that didn't count as our quest. Let's just climb this, let's climb this. Ready? There we go. Oh, God, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming, coming. He's up there! I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this hunting place is gonna work at all. Oh, no. Wait, why? Wait, hold on. This block is weirdly placed here. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Wait, here, I, I have a pickaxe. I have a pickaxe here. <laughs> Yo, break it, break it. <laughs> what? Where is he? No! <laughs> I'm burning! Oh, we're burning! Oh, we're burning! Oh, that's so good. Get back here. Our burning stopped. Our burning stopped. Okay, we got the kill on the player with the crit. Now we need to kill a zombie and kill a villager. We're gonna have to loop back to that village. Let's go up this mountain. We have our double jump, so we can move pretty quick. Okay, let's leap over to the village. Let's just leap over to the village. Go, 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 go. Okay, I'm sorry, villager. I gotta do this. Okay, villager down, villager down. Now we just gotta kill a zombie. We need to get to a cave. Oh, is this a cave right here? No way. We're gonna go in it. We're gonna take the risk. We're taking the risk. No way. Oh, look at this tiny little crack. Oh, God. They see me. They see me. They see me. They see me. He's go, down go, 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 here. Go. Oh, we need to find a zombie fast. Go this way. We just gotta find a zombie somewhere in this cave. Come on. There's gotta be a zombie somewhere, right? Are we gonna leap there? There we go. Yes. Nice. We're making some good moves. Can we go down this? Oh, my God. <gasps> we found a giant cave and there's a zombie right here. Let's go. Oh, there's a lot of mobs and I forgot I only have five hearts. I gotta be careful here. There's a zombie this way. Let's just go get that zombie. Okay, here we go. Let's just go up here. 
Yes, we killed him. And now we can unlock our icy fangs, which you'll see do eight attack damage and look like a sword made of ice. Okay, let's work to get out of this cave now and not get killed. Okay, we go out this way. Yep, we went. We came through here. We came through here. Oh, I saw a name. I saw a name. I saw a name. I saw a name. Where'd that ice dragon go? Who? This way. This way. Back this way. Back this way. Back this way. Oh, they're on me. They're on me. They're on me. Hopefully that blocks them off. Okay, let's do this. Ready? go. I what? jumped over his head. I jumped over his head. I blocked over no his head. No way! Go, 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 go. We need to get out of here. Staircase right in front of me. Oh, there's the Yeah, surprise! One up there, one up there, one up there. I got an idea. We can go this way. Hey! Oh, that did not work. That did not work. In the wall, in the wall, in the wall, in the wall. Go, 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 go. Hey, get back here! No turn. Ice dragon! Going this way. Now go back here. Dude, he's behind us! Oh, he juked us! Oh, he's jumping up, guys! He's building up! Go! He's building up! Okay, I'm out of blocks again. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, huge! Oh. Grab this. Okay, we got the icy fangs. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, we have a bunch of wood. We can use the wood to get out of here. I see one up above. I see one up above. Oh, he almost got to me. He almost got to me. Hey, get Just back here, ice dragon. Oh, I'm out of hunger. Flop. Keep going, keep going. We can go this way. I have an idea. There's literally crops right here we can eat. That'll give us a little hunger back. There we go. Eat the carrots. There we go. Hunger's back to full. Go this way. I see him. Oh, they're on He's me. He's in the valley. We need to get some water because they have fire swords that are literally going to kill me. So let's get to some water where those aren't going to be effective and we can kill them. It's water straight ahead. Let's get to this lake. Okay, let's see. Where are they? One's right in front of me. And if I shoot that out. Okay, those don't shoot straight. Oh. We have to be careful. Let's go to this way to the water. We only have one on us that I could see. Okay, over here. Okay, let's get ready to fight. Okay, there's Oh, he's two on the hill over there. It's over for you, Ice Dragon. I'm going to get you. Ow, no! Oh, we got me a fire. Got me a fire. Flap this way, flap this way, flap this way into the water. There we go. Now their fire swords can't hit me underwater. You're not gonna They do away, damage, but that's wagon. it. Nice. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. One down. So I don't like two of them on me. You're done. Oh, 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 oh he's done. He's done. He's done. We got her. 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 Oh. Yes. Oh, no. Yes. Okay, they're all dead. Go this way. Go this way. Come on. Swim up on this land. We actually got away. Let's go. After getting my ice fangs and fleeing far from spawn, it was time to work on our ice dragon shelter. Now I knew this base wouldn't last forever, so I built a super simple base high up in the air to allow it to survive just a little longer than normal. Okay, so welcome your faces to the first ever ice dragon base. I found this really cool spot to put it behind this waterfall. So if we just simply jump over here to the waterfall and swim on up, we will be inside the base, which right now is a little bit basic, but that's because I was more focused on finding a base that was safe than building a base that had a lot of stuff. So luckily we have all the essentials we need to survive, including some more stuff down this way, but it's day 10. So let's go back to the upgrade menu and let's see if we can unlock our next upgrade, the ice pop, which yes, is literally just a blue icy freeze pop, which honestly is fitting for a baby dragon. And luckily to unlock it, all I need to do is get 32 sugar, one enchanted golden item, and one golden apple. So let's start by just grabbing sugar cane because it's probably going to be the easiest part of this. And we can find sugar cane pretty much anywhere along the coast in Minecraft, but it's definitely going to spawn most commonly in a desert. Like there is some right there, but you can see it's only four and we need 32 just to get the ice pop. But this will do for now. Let's just grab those and let's just start heading to a desert where we can actually grab some. Okay, so I got all the sugar cane before we actually got to a desert. So that works. We can just take the sugar cane, put it in our inventory, and turn all of it into sugar. Which means we've already completed our first quest for ice pop. And now we just need an enchanted golden item. And the easiest way to get those is probably just to go to the nether. Because gold is super easy to get in the nether. Okay, so let's just grab some iron ingots from this chest. Go into here and let's go ahead and let's craft ourselves two buckets. Now let's simply go over here to this river and let's fill our two buckets up. Now let's just take a hole in the floor right here. Just cover that up. And now let's go ahead and fill this with water to give ourselves an infinite water source. Fill our buckets back up. And now let's go down here into the caves and let's go get ourselves some obsidian. Okay, so now we should go ahead and put the water right here next to some lava and it's gonna make ourselves some obsidian. And out of the mine that obsidian, we just need to get a diamond pickaxe. Which normally would be difficult, but I'm past like a million diamonds on the way here, so I know I can quickly go get one. See, like there were some right here on the ground. And then we got this group of three right here. Now we simply make a diamond pickaxe and head back down to the caves. Okay, so now let's start mining some of this obsidian up. Okay, there we go. We got 10 obsidian. Now let's go make another portal. I think a good spot to put it would literally just be like right here. So let's just put the obsidian in the wall. Now let's just go make a flint and steel real quick. Now we'll combine that flint with an iron to make ourselves a flint and steel. Now we just light this pad boy off and we can go to the nether to get an enchanted golden item. Now we're going to have to be really, really careful in the nether because obviously the nether is really, really dangerous. And very specifically, we only have five hearts of HP, which means I'm pretty sure a brute can one shot us. Oh, I got an idea. I see there's a place we can go over here. Okay, cool. We made it down, and there's a bastion literally right there. Let's just jump over to this tree here. Oh, that's going to be tricky to get to. Ooh. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're almost at the bastion. Here we go. Okay, let's start breaking in. Here we go. Okay, we're in the bastion. Oh, there's a bunch of gold at the bottom. Now, we don't want to take a single hit. Now, we got lucky. This is the best bastion you can find. It's a bridge, meaning we have gold blocks out there, gold blocks all the way way over there, and then gold blocks straight below us. But we obviously have to be careful of dying. Don't you dare. Hey, you. Let's get their attention. Hey, you. Come on. How do they not see me? What is happening? Guess I'll hop over here one more. There we go. Now I got their attention. Die. Okay, there we go. Killed them all. Let's go get this gold out front. Another one right here. Now let's go all the way to the bottom and just be extra careful and grab this gold. And hope there's an enchanted gold item in these chests down here. What is happening? You know what? I'm going to the bottom. I'm just going to the bottom. This is crazy. 
Okay, he's dead. Nice. Killed a bunch of brutes there. Now, just grab the gold. There should be a chest. Here we go. Enchanted golden item. Come on. Oh, it's full to the brim. Five iron blocks. Two netherite ingots. Oh my god, this chest was OP, but it didn't have a single enchanted golden item. Okay, we got all the gold for now. Let's just start working our way back up and getting some chests. Okay, there's more chests up here up top. Let's just start building up towards it. And Okay, let's see. Where's the chest? I don't see the chest. We gotta be careful. Okay, let's jump to this room here. Yeah, we hit it. Oh, no, it's a piglin. We're good. Okay, we got a golden helmet. It's not enchanted, though. We need it to be enchanted. We got an unbreaking three diamond pick, an efficiency one diamond pick. But again, not really the stuff we needed. There should be some more chests this way if I just break through this wall. Oh, yeah, literally, literally. Okay, we gotta be careful, though. There's a brute. There's a brute. There's a brute. Okay, get him over here. Let's get his attention. Nice. He's dead. Any more? Okay, nothing in here. Oh, we got soul speed. This is good. Okay, even though we didn't get an enchanted golden item, we got a book. That'll work. And we definitely have enough gold. So I think we can pretty much unlock lock ice pop now later losers okay now that we're home let's go to a crafting table and take three of our iron blocks and a bunch of our iron ingots to make ourselves an anvil now let's put the anvil down and now let's grab ourselves some extra gold ingots and let's make ourselves some boots now we can throw the boots inside of the anvil along with the soul speed book to get ourselves enchanted golden boots which is another quest complete for our ice pop and now we just need an apple but uh as you can see it is almost nighttime the sun is literally going down behind that hill so as much as i'd like to get an apple right now we'll just get one tomorrow okay so i'm pretty sure birch trees can drop apples i'm not 100 percent positive but i'm pretty sure so let's find out. Let's just cut down a bunch of birch wood and let's see if we get ourselves some apples. Oh, we, there we go. We got an apple. And it looks like I went in my inventory. So we actually have two apples. Now we just take that gold, put it in a circle, put the apple in the center. And we have a golden apple, meaning now we can unlock our ice pop, which apparently is blue raspberry flavor. So let's unlock it. And now you see we have an ice pop in our hand that honestly provides some really cool benefits. Let me go to the nether to show you. Okay, now that we're in the nether. Okay, now that we're in the nether, let's eat a piece of our ice pop. And then I'm going to dive in the lava. Watch, here we go. We eat the ice pop. Our hunger goes to full. We get regeneration. And of course, we also get haste and fire resistance, meaning I am totally safe to swim in lava for another minute 30 seconds anyway let's get out of here before we burn okay so now that our popsicle provides fire immunity we've officially finished all tier one upgrades so now it's time to start on the tier two upgrades and we haven't done a dragon upgrade yet so let's do one of those all we need are 24 ink sacks a singular emerald block and one saddle and no joke ink sacks are super easy to get so we're just gonna go to the ocean over here real quick and grab some okay there we go there's some squids literally right over here come here squids got him Oh, hunters, hunters, hunters. Oh, no, I do see him, dude. He's over here. He's over here. <gasps> I see, I see him. Oh, they must have seen me somehow. We can get one in this water here. Oh, wait, one fell in. Okay, one just fell in. Oh, she's in now, too. Oh, they're both done. We got him trapped. Oh, we got him trapped. Oh, no. Dude. Nice, he's done. Swim back up. There we go. We're back up. We got her. We got her. We got her. Uh, uh, come on. Nice, we killed her. We killed her. We killed her. See if we can get, let's see if we can get him with the ice stuff. Oh, we actually did. We actually did. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what that did, but he's running. It must have done a lot. Oh, he knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. He knew. What happened to your fire sword? He doesn't have a fire sword. Keep shielding him. Keep shielding him. Are you ready for this one? Oh, oh, he got me. He got me. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. He's running. Oh, he's done. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's just... Ah! Ah! He's going to try and do this turnaround thing. Watch. Oh, I did not mean to light the bee, bee nest on fire. I want to burn him. I can't burn him. I can't burn him. We got him in the fire. Come on. Yes! No! Okay, he's dead. Oh, but now the whole forest is burning down. No! The bees! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Get ourselves up to 24 ink sacks, and then let's get out of here before they find our base. Okay, there we go. We have 25 ink sacks in our inventory, and now we literally just need a block of emerald and a saddle. So let's get going home and make a plan to go get those things. Okay, so if you didn't know, getting a saddle is pure luck. I just have to find one in a chest, whereas emerald blocks are super easy. I just gotta mine a bunch of emeralds. So while my base may look like it's a mountain biome, it actually isn't. So I can't get emeralds at this base at all. Okay, we're at the spawn mountain. These mountains are absolutely massive. Okay, there's a giant cave in this mountain. Oh my god, it is absolutely huge. Is there any emeralds down here, though? Oh, I see a double emerald in there. Go. Okay, the zombies all see me. That's okay. I can take on a bunch of zombies. Double emeralds right here. Oh my god, more. Three emeralds. What? No! Okay, there's literally one right here. Dig here, 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 then here. We get it. Nice. There we go. One more. Okay, I see our last emerald. It's literally down here, right there on the floor. Grab the emerald. Boom! That's nine total emeralds, which means now we can put it in a crafting table and get an emerald block. Uh, now it's nighttime outside, as you can see, so let's just go to sleep, and tomorrow we'll start looking for a saddle. And so the search for a saddle began, and I couldn't find one, which is honestly really annoying, because saddles aren't rare at all. In fact, this is two videos in a row where I can't find saddles. What is happening? Oh, is that a spawn? Oh my god, diamonds. Hold up. We got two diamonds there. And then, oh, you got another one literally right here. Hold up. Grab this one. And then we have a spawner literally right here. This is huge. Sounds like skeletons. Maybe we can just find the chest. Oh, we literally are one off. The chest is right here. 
We got a saddle. We got a saddle. No way. Okay, I'm going to save this spawner for later, and I'm just going to get out of here because we officially have everything we need to become an icy hatchling, which we'll go do back at home. So say goodbye to this cute little baby dragon, and hello to the icy hatchling. Oh my god, actually, look at him. He looks so cool. He kind of looks like Spyro if he were made of ice. And now you'll see we have a lot more hearts too, so let's just eat nice pop and get ourselves back to full HP. Now, if I actually hover over the icy hatchling, you're going to notice he has a bunch of bonuses, including plus two blocks of reach and triple jump, meaning I can reach blocks super far away. Look at this. And even better yet, I now have access to a triple jump, so I can go one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, wait, what the heck? No way! <laughs> are broken. Oh my god, I'm not even supposed to unlock fly until tier three. And this is basically infinite. Okay, enough messing with the flight. I've been having a lot of fun with that. But it's time to work on our next upgrade, which is also a tier two upgrade. And it's actually our icy breath. Because what is a dragon without a breath power? <laughs> So let's unlock the icy breath by activating this quest. And now there's a bunch of stuff we got to do in the upper left-hand corner of our screen, including breaking 100 blocks of ice, hitting 50 players with a snowball, and then killing five snow golems. But we'll start on all that tomorrow because the sun's setting behind me. So let's just fly back to the base and get inside for the night. Okay, so now that we can fly infinitely, we just have to break 100 ice blocks. So let's just go find a biome with a bunch of ice and just spam space to get over there. Okay, let's get down to this ice real quick and let's get mining. This is ice, right? Yeah, okay, we just break all this. There we go. Is this all ice? No, this looks different. No, that's packed ice. Okay, let's just break the ground. Just break 100 blocks. Here we go. And there we go. Just like that, we've broken 100 blocks of ice. And since we're in a snow biome, might as well take this chance to get a bunch of snowballs. So let's just fly up to the top of this hill real quick. Let's grab a little bit of wood, make ourselves a crafting table, and now let's make ourselves a shovel. And now we can use this shovel to start collecting snowballs that we're going to throw at the dragon hunters next time we find them. Oh, I think I'm good on snowballs. Oh my god. Okay, so since we also have to kill some snow golems, let's just turn a bunch of these into blocks real quick because we can. Okay, now let's just fly on home and see if we can find some pumpkins while we do it. Pumpkin spotted! Okay, let's grab a few of these. And now let's head on home. Okay, now let's just kill some of the snow golems now that we have the materials to make them. I believe we have to carve those pumpkins. So let's just make some shears. Let's put five pumpkins down. Let's shear them. Now let's take these back. And now we put down two snow blocks carve pumpkin on top and we should get a snowman which we keep what what why did he die why did he die okay i guess let's try and do it outside and see if this is any better it could be because it's a warm biome we're just gonna be quick about this then when we kill him ready there we go we killed one there we go we just gotta be really quick that's the secret okay one two one there we go three that's four one, two, one. There we go. We killed five snow golems. I have no idea why they're dying. I'm guessing it's because we're in like a warm biome, but someone let me know in the comments below because I thought if he was standing on snow, he'd be fine. But anyway, now we just have to get 50 hits with snowballs. So let's just go find the dragon hunters and let's have a snowball fight. So over the next couple of days, I looked everywhere for the dragon hunters base, which I did find on day 48. Oh, wait, what is that? There's a pink tower over here. No, that's definitely them. That's definitely them. That's spawn. They're right next to spawn. We need to pelt them with 50 snowballs. So let's just land on the roof. Okay, we're on the roof. They don't see me. They're right there. That's two hits. That's two hits. They didn't even notice. Oh! Wait, what's that? What are these snowballs? Oh my god, it's a nice angel! Or it's a nice dragon! Oh, he sees it! Oh, he sees it! Oh! Okay, they're gonna come for me now. Just throw a bunch. Throw a bunch. Yes, okay, we got a bunch of hits there. Got a bunch of hits there. There we go. Hit him. Oh! Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Let's eat an ice pop. Okay, now they can't burn me. Let's go back over here. Ready? Right? Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him, I got him. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's a bunch of hits. Go back in. Okay, we got a bunch of hits there. Go, 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 go. <laughs> bunch of free hits. That's 35. Oh, what? He's reeling me in. Oh, God. I don't see him. Haha, I got him, I got him. I'm taking yeah. him home. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him, keep hitting him. Oh, he's reeling me in. Okay, we got all the hits. Nice, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Fly, 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 fly. Oh, God, they had a weird ability there. They messed up my flight. My flight's broken now. Oh, we got caught again, we got caught again, we got caught again. No way. Oh, no, you don't. Get back here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We got him. Nice, oh, gosh. Nice, he's dead. Fly up here. Let's unlock our new ability. We should be able to get our dragon breath now. Okay, let's try it. Let's see how this works. You're going to see we have a new item in our inventory that I can switch between a nice spike that I can throw. Whoop, they're behind us. And a nice breath. Let's ice breath her. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. Ah, I got him, guys. Ow. Oh, he's in. Ah. We're using our ice breath on her. Yep, see? She's dead. And now we can use our ice breath on him. And it turns everything we look at to ice. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's so OP. They're literally, we're freezing everything. What is that? Oh my god, my frames. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. Oh That's god. so cool. No, ah. run, 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 run. No. Watch this. Let's turn their whole base to ice. Boom. Oh my god. Everything's ice. Their whole base is now ice. Look at this. Their beds are gone. He can't move. Let's try the ice spikes out. 
Oh, we killed him with that. Bro, oh! Is... Oh my goodness, this dragon is so OP right now because he can fly. If this, if I, oh! If I did not have this flight, he would be so weak. But because of the glitch of flying, I am so broken right now. But now that we're done messing with them, let's go ahead and let's fly on home. Okay, so our new frost breath is OP. And I learned I had particles off. But if I turn particles on, it looks like this. Everything I'm looking at turns to ice. Look at this. This is so broken. I can just make fields of ice. Anyway, with that power now unlocked, it's time to work on our next tier two upgrade. And that's unlocking our dragon claws, which won't only work as a weapon, but they also work as an omni tool, meaning they work as a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel combined. However, while that sounds cool, it is not easy to unlock. I mean, just look, one of the items is literally a piece of chainmail armor. And then we just need a goat horn and some iron ink. So uh, we're going to need to do a bunch of iron mining. So let's just grab our pickaxe and let's get to work. Okay, so now we'll wait for the iron behind us to start smelting. Now let's turn it all into blocks. And you'll see we now have 15 blocks of iron where we need 16 blocks. Uh, I think I'm just bad at math. And let's just make another one. And just like that, one of the quests is complete. And now it's time to get a goat horn. Now, something that's pretty unlucky for us is we do live in a mountain biome. But unfortunately, it's not the type where goats spawn. So we're going to have to go find an icy mountain where goats are actually spawning. And seeing as I see snow in this direction, let's go this way and start looking first. Okay, so the goat's right here. I'm going to try and set up a platform for him to ram me. And now we wait. No, I missed it. He's got me. Oh, you know what? I'm going to find more goats. Oh, there's literally goats on the spawn platform. That's going to be huge. The goat was... Oh. These goats are so dumb. Okay, I came up with an idea. What if I stand still and get a goat to come at me, and then I place a stone block in front of him? Let's try that. Got it. Yes. Oh, that worked. Yes. I think I actually just discovered a cool trick for unlocking that. Uh, now let's just kill these guys real quick. And now that we have the goat horn ponder, let's head on home. Oh, I see a light in the distance. There's a fire. I don't remember there being a fire over by my base in this area. No, oh, that's weird. Why is that on fire? I don't remember placing that. Maybe my giant ice patch here gave away my base. I'm going to be careful going in here. It literally could be nothing, but I have to double check. I don't see a name play. I think we might be okay. No names. Okay. <gasps> yes, names. I knew it. I knew it. I knew there'd be names. Hold on. Hold on. Down here. I can go down here. I can go down here. That's a lot of TNT. Oh, God. That's a lot of TNT. Get the, get the ice dragon. Go this way. Okay. Let's freeze the ground. Let's just keep freezing him. Freezing him with our dragon breath. There we go. Oh, ow, ow. oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, I'm freezing. freezing. I'm freezing. Dude, get off of me. Dude, I almost died. Oh, oh, I think. Oh. One's dead. Whoa, my stuff. Oh. Okay, they're coming in. They're coming in. Go upside. Get back here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He's trying to steal my stuff. Let's freeze this one to death. Oh, they're trying to net me. Oh, he is netting me. We can freeze him, though. We can constantly freeze him while he's netting me. Don't worry, I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Use our breath. Just keep breathing him. Keep breathing him. He's trying to drown me. He's trying to drown me. We got him. He's dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. They're all dead. Okay, well, this base got absolutely decimated while the hunters tried to kill me. So, uh, I'm going to a new one. Okay, so we have to be extra careful of those dragon cages. Because if I get caught in one of those, it's literally game over. Anyway, after having to leave my first base behind, I went ahead and built a second ice dragon base. Okay, so welcome your faces to the ice dragon base version 2. Now, at first glance, this base may not look like much. But I actually love this base because I built it in this giant hole where I simply fly in right up here and we're inside. But if we were to go the other way, there's actually a massive massive cave system that goes all the way down here, meaning this base has pretty much got everything for me. And now for the not so fun part. Since we were rudely interrupted while trying to unlock our dragon claws, we didn't get to finish. And so now we just need to get a piece of chainmail armor, which normally is pretty tricky to get, but with the bedrock data pack installed, it actually is going to be pretty easy. All we need to do is find some sunken treasure and look inside and we should find some. So let's look for a sunken ship real quick and search through it. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to park a boat there. So let's just go inside and steal all their treasure for parking so poorly. Uh, no treasure in here really. Okay, well this ship didn't have any treasure probably because the guy parked it on like an ice bike but you know we'll go look for another one okay here's literally another one crashed into ice this must be like a common thing okay let's just start by breaking through this block here there's the chest and there's the buried treasure map and it looks like we have to head south and so let's start by going south which is in this direction here okay we found our place on the map we just got to literally start heading east now which is over in this direction here meaning it's got to be right up here we're getting close we're getting really close it's starting to generate okay i think it's right below me here somewhere in this area so if i break these i'm just gonna break a bunch to make sure we can get back up okay we're going down let's start digging okay, i don't see any chest yet no wait there is one right next to it right next to it Yes, it won't let me open the chest. Can I squeeze down? Oh, I can squeeze down. Hold on. There we go. <gasps> chainmail. We got the chainmail leggings. We got a heart of the sea. Okay, cool. And now that we have that, we can unlock our dragon claws. But I left the rest of the stuff at home, so we'll do it tomorrow. Okay, day 38. Let's unlock these dragon claws. Okay, cool. Here they are. They're in my hand. It kind of looks like a fist with spikes on it. Let me throw it on the ground and see if we can get a bit. Oh, oh, that looks so much better. That looks cool. Now, if I take a peek, this does 10 attack damage, which is two more than my frosty fangs. Basically, meaning uh, I'm getting rid of the frosty fangs. Or that's what I would say, except for the fact that the frosty fangs can do this 
So obviously this thing works as an omni tool, meaning I can mine a bunch of different ores like copper. What I'm also noticing is it mines in a three by three area, meaning I can mine a lot more, a lot faster. But that's not the only thing these dragon claws do. Okay, so if we go up to this diamond ore right here and we mine it, you'll see we got three diamonds, proving that whatever we mine gets tripled. Now, when I read Dragon Claws, it's only supposed to double, but uh, it's tripling, so I'm not really gonna complain. Oh, and on top of mining, it does a few other small things. Like if I right-click it on the ground, you're gonna notice I can light fires with it. And then if I extinguish those fires, I break blocks immediately. And then if I shift right-click, you're gonna notice that different things can happen. Like now I can strip logs, or I can use these dragon claws as shear. But the fire is definitely the most useful, so uh, I'm just gonna light a few fires and go back home. Because now that we've officially unlocked our dragon claw, we are done with our tier two upgrades. Meaning it's time to move on to tier three, which has the ice dragon, something called a glacial geyser, and another ability called the glacial gaze. And I'm not gonna lie, one of them's kind of busted, and it's glacial gaze. Basically, so long as I am looking at one of the hunters, they are frozen in place because I freeze them solid, you know, since I'm an ice dragon. And because the ability is super broken, it's also super difficult to unlock, meaning we're gonna need 64 spider eyes, some diamond horse armor, and 32 glowing ink sacks. I'm not gonna lie, the cave I was just in, I saw a bunch of glow squids just leaping off of a cliff, so let's just go back to that cave and start taking on some glow squids. Okay, so I came back to the cave, and there's some glowy things from where they were, but the actual glow squids themselves are not here, so uh, we're gonna have to just look for glow squids and start killing them. Okay, we officially have all the glowing ink sacks that we're gonna need from the cave, and now we just need to kill a bunch of spiders, which we also find in a cave. In fact, it's actually gonna be pretty easy, because I know we're spider spawner is so uh we can just go there and farm them okay and there we go we officially have one full stack of spider eyes though i'm not gonna lie that took a little longer than expected does anyone know the drop rates for spider eyes it must be lower than i thought but whatever we're done and now we just need some diamond horse armor which might sound hard but it's not all we've got to do is find ourselves an ancient city and i'm not gonna lie there is so much skulk down here i would not be surprised if there's one nearby okay i don't think there's any below these mountains or anything like that because i looked around and i didn't see any so let's just start checking out other caves around these mountains to see if we can find one because with all the hills and skulk in this area i feel like there's got to be an ancient city somewhere oh we got a big cave here there's a few caves in this area. Let's go into this one. Oh, Dude. oh, I see the ice dragon right there. Whoa. Did he go into that cave down there? I think he did. I think he went, he went down he, into he, the forest. He dropped straight down. Okay, there's no skulk up here. Uh, what about down here? Oh, we may find one. There might be an ancient city here. Okay, just kill off the zombies real quick. Now let's go check out that skulk area. What was that? What was that? I don't think there's one here. There's a lot of skulk. Let's go down this way, maybe. No, I don't see one. Dang, dude. Wait. <gasps> Wait, the hunters are here. Look at them. They're fighting over here. Wait, what? We gotta run. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. All these zombies did. Oh, he's behind us! He's behind us! Oh! They're getting hits. They're getting hits. Oh, they got me trapped. If I fly, it glitches. They can't hit me up here. You're not getting away! <laughs> he's trying to fly away so hard! Wait, where are we going? This should slow him down a little bit. Oh my god, he won't let go. Go, what? He's building up! Oh god, no, he got me, guys! There we go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. They came from up here. I don't think there's an ancient city here. Hold on, let's get outside. Oh yeah, they were out here. Okay, we're outside. What is that? What is that? That past Ryan is a dragon cage. And if you step on that, you lose the game. I have no idea what this thing is, so I'm not gonna touch it. Because that is not one of my items. Oh, there's one right here. There's one down below us. Okay, they're trying to he's trying to reel me in. Oh, I hear him using that crossbow. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. What if they're trying to use their crossbows that reel me in to bring me into whatever that bony structure is? Where did it go? Oh, it's gone. What? It disappeared. That's my chance though. He can't pull me into it if he's dead. The cage is gone, bro. What? I think this pig tripped our cage. Dude, no. Oh, that did a bunch of damage. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay, we got one dead. I got an idea. Oh my god. I got him, but I don't know how long I'm gonna hold him off for. Oh, there you go. It one shot her. And now it's time for us to go back to looking for an ancient city. Isn't this the cave that's near my base? I'm like near positive. <gasps> Ancient city. No way! Well, if this is the cave near my base, then my base is near an ancient city, and I just somehow missed this entire thing. Oh my god, look at it. It's huge. Now we should actually loot some chests so we can get some diamond horse armor and be done finally. Okay, let's sneak up here. I only see the one shrieker, so let's try and destroy the shrieker. Oh, we still someone off. Open it. Okay, no diamond horse armor. Let's move on. Let's check out right here. Boom! Diamond horse armor, second chest we got. And we got him breaking three mending diamond pants, which I'm definitely gonna put on. And now let's just loot the rest of this place while we're here. Ooh, diamonds! Ooh, more diamond horse armor. And 13. A horrible music disc compared to other side. Isn't that right, editors? Okay, so now that we officially have diamond horse armor in hand, we can unlock Glacial Gaze. Our new ability I can't test yet, because I would need to test it on the hunters, and I really don't feel like fighting them right now, to be honest. However, we can test it on mobs to see if it works on them. So let's, as an example, let's activate our hotkey. It is not doing anything. Uh-oh. Wait, what was that? Oh, that almost killed me is what that was. Wait, if I right-click this dragon thing, do I just plow through blocks? 
Huh? What was that? Okay, so it doesn't work on mobs. And honestly, I have no idea why there's a hotkey for this ability on my screen. So I actually am going to go to the hunter's base and test it. So over the next couple of days, I looked everywhere for the dragon hunter's base, which I did find on day 48. Oh, there's a village here. We got to be careful. I don't want to activate bad omen yet. Okay, let's go around the village. Got a pillager tower in the distance. Oh, wait, what? There's another portal. Oh, the pillager tower is a base. Hold up. I see players. This is them. This is the hunter's base. Yep, there's the dragon bone cage. They're going to try and capture me at that. Okay, let's test our freeze ability. Let's bring him over on this side of the ravine real quick. Okay, he's building up. He's building up. Now let's test our freeze on him. Ready? And and now he's frozen. Look. Get back here. Oh, God. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. Oh, no. Do you want to build a snowman? Oh, wait, let me go. Let me go. He can't move. There's nothing he can do until I hit the hot key again, in which case he'd unfreeze. But that's not going to work. Oh, they're coming up. Let me just kill him real quick. No, no. I can't move. There we go. And he's done. Hit the hot key. Oop, and now fly this way. Okay, we gotta be careful because they're still trying to get me in that bone cage. Now we know what our freeze ability does. So now we can just mess with them some more. Oh, he's trying to shoot me. He's trying to shoot me with that crossbow. We gotta be careful. In fact, let's build a wall. We're gonna build a base on top of their base. Look at this. They're below me. I'm just putting a bunch of blocks everywhere so I can jump around. Hit him down. Oh, he got me. He got me. Oh, that was a good hit. Okay, get some food in us. There we go. See so we can freeze another. Let's freeze another. Oh no, I'm frozen. Oh he's frozen. Okay, he's, he should. Oh, no, they got me hooked. Oh, she died. She died. Yes. Oh, okay, we're good. We gotta be careful. We do not want to get hooked close to that dragon cage. Let's get this guy ready. Let's land on him. Let's get him with a crit. Ready? He's done. He's done. He's done. We got him. Huh? Ah! Where is he? Ow, get off. Oh, God, no! Oh, I'm so low. Oh, he did not see me. That was funny. There he is. There he is. Watch this. We're going to land on him. Got to be careful of that bone cage. So oh, he's... Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God! Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Yes, that's one more. Let's see if we can destroy that dragon cage. I want to be careful because I obviously don't want to... We can't destroy it. We can't destroy it. Okay, that cage is literally invincible, so we just don't want to get near it. Well, that's good to know. We did some good testing. Oh, wait. Actually, that gave me an idea. I killed him. We got Bad Omen again. Let's go back to this village. Now they have to deal with a raid right next door to their base. Raid time! The raid's starting. I want to see how they react to this. Let the battle begin! Uh-oh. <laughs> and you know what? I'll leave you guys to this. Later! But now it's time to work on our next ability, the Glacial Geyser. Which apparently is going to do 20 hearts of HP. And to unlock it, we just have to get Hot Taurus Destination, use a name tag, and kill three people with ice spikes. And Hot Taurus Destination should be pretty easy as we just have to explore all nether biomes. So let's go into this portal and let's make our way to some biomes we haven't gone to. Now we just have to find a basalt biome and a soul sand biome, which soul sand is right there. Yep, four or five. We just need one more. I'm pretty sure this biome up here is the one we're looking for. Yes, we got it. So now let's go home and do the second quest on that list, which is to use a name tag. So uh, it turns out I actually had a name tag on my person already. So we just have to put this in an anvil. Okay, I'm actually going to name the name tag to some random person who purchased an item from ryguy.shop and took advantage of our Black Friday sale to get some really cool merch. And so we're going to name it after this person here, Sarah Norman. Well, thank you, Sarah Norman. You now get a name tag for purchasing something on ragguy.shop. And now we just have to use this name tag on a random creature. Now your name is Sarah Norman. And now let us go back to the base because we have upgrades we got to work on. Okay, last but not least, I need to get three kills with ice spikes. So let's go lead back to the pillager tower the hunters were at. And let's go get them with some ice spikes. Okay, their pillager tower is literally right there. Let's get behind this wall so they can't see me. Okay, let's go this way. We just need three kills with ice spikes. Let's get on the roof. Okay, one's coming up. This is our chance. Here we go. Ready? Got him once. Got him twice. He's running. Go out the window. Let's get him. Got him. Oh, God, he's on me. He's no. One with the ice spike. We got one. There we go. This has good knockback. Oh, dude. We just need one more. Be careful of that cage. Oh, we see him flying. He's done. Oh, my God. Oh, it doesn't count. Come on. He's low. He's going to be low. The other one got in the way. Oh, she's done. Yes. That's the kill we need to go this way. Let's get our new ability. Let's try it out. No clue what it does. I'm going to do it in their base, though, to start. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, it just filled the whole room full of ice spikes. What does this even do? I probably should have read the ability first. Okay, one of us trying to come up. Oh, it killed him. Oh, yeah, gosh. Dude, there's that? ice everywhere. What? Hold on. Let me do another one right here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so busted. Oh, wait. They despawned. They go away after time. Noted. They do not last forever. Okay, let's just put one more down. They're dead, and I'm out of here! <laughs> After escaping with our new attack, I decided to spend a day simply upgrading my armor. But uh, then I got sidetracked, and I ended up lost in a forest instead. So uh, yeah, this day was basically a waste. Okay, I'm not going to lie. This ability is absolutely busted. Now, if you play Pokemon, you know exactly what I'm about to reference here. But this ability is basically the sheer cold of this game. But anyway, now that we've unlocked yet another really broken ability, it's time to finally upgrade our dragon. Now, I waited a little while to become an ice dragon, because when I am an ice dragon, I get 60 seconds of flight, which is honestly a downgrade, seeing as this version can literally fly infinitely but with only one tier three ability left to unlock being our ice dragon we might as well begin doing it so to unlock the ice dragon we just need 30 cobwebs 30 packed ice and 10 enchanted books so let's start by getting some packed ice because it's the easiest okay there is tons of ice here this should definitely do is this packed ice yes it is okay cool we just need a bunch of this stuff 
And there we go, quest complete. Now we just need 30 cobwebs and 10 enchanted books. And to get cobwebs, all we need to do is get some shears. So let's make a pair. And now let's head down to an abandoned mine shaft where we can easily get 30 cobwebs. Okay, so let's just fly up here and now grab some cobwebs inside. I think that should be enough. What is happening? How did I do that? Wait a minute. If I just hold right click, no way. I learned how to activate it. Basically, because I have the ability to light fires, I have to right click it while looking at nothing to charge forward and break everything. And everything I mine while doing that also gets doubled. Well, uh, we know how that works now. So uh, let's just finish up our last ice dragon quest. Now, I still don't have an enchanting table because I haven't really done any enchanting yet. So let's just make one real quick and enchant a bunch of books. Okay, cool. Enchanter set up. Now we'll just grab some lapis. And now we're just gonna get these books enchanted. So we'll throw them inside of our enchanting table and just make a bunch of different books. And there we go. 10 enchanted books, which means we can become an ice dragon. Oh, wow. I'm actually huge. This kind of looks like a dragon from RuneScape, except like frosty and blue and, you know, Minecraft. But the main thing is I now have 20 total hearts of HP, which is really important. And you're going to see a new text on my screen that says flight for 60 seconds, which means instead of flapping around like I did before, I think I can fly like I'm in creative. Look at this. I'm flying, literally flying. And you can see the timer's going down. And the second I touch the ground, bonk, it resets. Okay, this is cool. We officially can fly like a real dragon. And now that we are a real dragon, we're officially done with our tier three upgrades, which honestly means we got to work on our next upgrade. And no joke, the upgrades from here do get kind of cool because with tier four, we get an ability called Absolute Zero, which would basically freeze everything in sight. And I'll leave it at that because I don't want to spoil the whole ability. But to unlock this ability is actually going to be kind of difficult because the first quest requires us to kill a bunch of wolves, which really don't spawn overly commonly. So I'm going to fly around from forest to forest like you see me doing now. And we're going to just look for some wolves to start taking out because we're going to need to kill 25 wolves. So this is not going to be easy. <laughs> And there we go, 25 wolves down. And now there is literally only two more quests we gotta complete till we unlock absolute zero. And these two quests are a lot harder, seeing as the second one literally requires us to have a max level netherite pickaxe. Now I believe we have like four netherite ingots that we found throughout the nether. So then we can just take one of our current pickaxes that's not enchanted like this guy. And now if we combine the netherite upgrade with our pickaxe along with our netherite ingot, we get the netherite pickaxe. Okay, so now we just have to level up this netherite pickaxe to max level, but we're not level 30, but we do have 28 total levels. So uh, that's pretty good. We just need to get like a level and a half more to actually unlock this and we'll finish this quest up okay the easiest way to get xp is definitely to go down to these caves here and then if we use our dragon claws we should just be able to mine through all this right let's try it oh yeah 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 oh it's so laggy there's so many xp orbs around come here xp there we go level 30 and now we can get a max level enchant on this which is unbreaking three and silk touch and now it just says break some obsidian with that so let's just break our nether portal and there we go. We broke the obsidian and quest two is completed. And now we just need to get some kills with our glacial geyser and we'll be able to unlock yet another upgrade. Okay, their base is loading in and it looks totally different. Oh my God, they built a glass dome around it. Look at this. They're gonna definitely see me coming in with this dome. Let me break open the top. And now we're just gonna get five kills with our geyser. It's probably gonna be easiest to put it inside the tower. Let's get below him. Ready? And bonk. What? Oh, he's over here. No, bro. There we go. We got a kill. The only place I have to be afraid is their fancy crossbows. They have these fancy crossbows that can pull me in. And if they get me with that, I'm actually in trouble. Oh, wait, they have turrets of skeletons? How is that even a thing? Wait, what? Oh, did he get me? He almost got me with that. Oh, he did get me with that. Boop, boop. Dude, I'm stuck. He's stuck. He got himself stuck in the cage. Kill him, kill him. Yes, he said. Oh, they almost won there. If he did not get himself stuck in his own cage, we would have won. Oh, now Goldie's stuck in the cage. In fact, let's put these on the cage so they can't bring me to it. Because that means they can't even get near it, right? Do not step on that cage. That's the one thing I got to worry about. Boom, it's on them. Dude, all okay. three of us died there. Yes, triple kill. And now we can unlock absolute zero. Here we go, ready? I'm just going to go down and... I activated it. Oh my god, look at him. He's stuck in a frozen cube. Oh, he can still hit me with that. He can still hit me with that cape. One's dead. Is this where they come from? Yeah, they come from here. Look. And now we're gonna put one of these glacial geysers in here. Ready? Watch this. We go down. Glacial geyser. Now when they respawn, they die. Break the beds. There we go. All beds are broken. This dude's trying to move with water. He found a way to move with water. Get out of here. He's like, no, please. No, please, no. What can we do to him? You know what? And they're all dead. And now that we've unlocked our brand new ability, Absolute Zero, let's head on home with our new snowy ability. Okay, so now that we're done unlocking Absolute Zero, it's time to unlock the next tier four ability. And this one is called Ice Shield. Like, have you ever seen that anime that's about the shield hero? Well, that's basically what I'm about to become. All we need is eight honey bottles, four netherite ingots, and 32 warped fungus. And since warped fungus will literally take two seconds to get, let's head to the nether and get to work. You think I can make it snow in the nether? Let's find out. Oh my God, I can. It's now snowing in the nether. Look at that. Anyway, we need to get warped fungus and the easiest place to do that. That is this blue foresty biome over here. Now, in total, it looks like we need to get 32 warp fungus. Okay, there we go. We're officially done with one of the first items on Ice Shield. And now we just need netherite ingots and honey bottles. So since we're already in the nether, let's go look for some ancient debris. Now, luckily with our dragon claws, we can dig underground much quicker than normal. So this really shouldn't take too long. 
Okay, cool. And there we go. We have 16 total ancient debris. Okay, now let's just throw eight ancient debris in this blast furnace and eight in this furnace. And while that smelts, let's grab our gold. And there we go. Let's grab that netherite scrap. Now we simply take the netherite, put it in a square, and now we surround it with a bunch of gold like this. And we should get a bunch of netherite ingots. And for this upgrade, we only needed four, which means we're done. Well, getting netherite anyway. We still have to get eight honey bottles. Okay, so to get honey bottles should be pretty easy with flight. So let's just look for a bee that's flying around. That'll bring us to a hive. I don't oh, there's a bee. I see one. Okay, I grabbed some. Oh, that definitely made them mad. But we got ourselves a honey bottle. And now we just need seven more to get our ice shield. Okay, there we go. We have eight total honey bottles now. Which means we have everything we need to officially unlock the ice shield. And I'll actually show it to you tomorrow because uh, the sun's going down. So let's fly home. Okay, let's try out this ice shield. So if I just hit my number two key, I think it should just... Whoa! It puts a circle of shields around me that I can walk through, but no entities can get through. So if they're shooting bows at me, nothing will get through these spiky pillars. Notice how it's stopping the ice spike from going forward. It doesn't go through it. I'll even throw it down at an angle so you can see better. Look at this. It's not going in. It gets stopped by the wall. But with the shield unlocked, we actually can do something even cooler now. And that's unlock our final tier four upgrade, the frozen behemoth, which is actually my favorite ice dragon we have in this entire video. So let's unlock it pretty quick. All we need is 64 snow blocks, enough Nautilus shell and five enchanted golden apples. So let's just grab 64 snow blocks from this mountain right here because this should be pretty straightforward and easy to do. Grab all these snowballs. Now let's go ahead and just throw all these in. How many snow blocks do we need? Oh, a stack. Perfect. We already have enough. First quest complete. Now we either need a Nautilus shell or five enchanted golden apples. And the easiest place to get golden apples is an ancient city. Now I already looted one of the ancient cities that's below this mountain here. But with how big this mountain range is, there could be a double or even a triple ancient city below here. And I think it's worth exploring. So let's head on down to the caves and let's see if we can find another ancient city down here. Here. There was no ancient city there. So I had to look elsewhere and that took days to do, but I did find one. Okay. I found a new ancient city. We just got to actually look around and find a bunch of God apples. Now they do spawn pretty commonly here. So we're just going to be quick about this and fly. Let's check this chest. Nothing. Move on to the next one. Let's get far away from that. Go this way. Well, at least we got other side. <gasps> Three golden apples. That's half of what we needed right in one chest. We literally just need two more. Okay, this will set up a shrieker. Ah, nothing in here, but we got a power too. And cat. <laughs> Oh, we got another one. That's four. Oh, it's right there. We have five. We have five golden apples. Oh, we summoned another warden. I can't see anything, though. Ooh, ow. Okay, you know what? He's not worth fighting. I can't get the kill on this guy. We're just going to leave. And now we just need to get a Nautilus shell, which is a little more boring than an ancient city raid. Seeing as we just have to kill a bunch of drowned under the ocean until we get a Nautilus shell. So let's just fly around the ocean and let's look for some drowned to kill for a Nautilus shell. Okay, so there we go. We officially got the Nautilus shell, which means we can finally do this upgrade and show it off. So without further ado, say goodbye to this really cool ice dragon that I still think looks like it's from RuneScape and say hello to our frozen behemoth. Look at this guy. His wings are literally made of giant icicles. All down his back are giant icicles. He has icicles hanging off his legs. And then look how majestic his horns look. This is like the coolest dragon ever. Or at least I think so. Let me know in the comments below what you think the best dragon is. But looking cool isn't all this dragon does because you're going to notice my flight timer has gone up from 60 to 120 seconds. And on top of that, if we look at its unlock icon, you're going to see that I have plus eight frost regeneration, no fall damage, and plus six blocks of reach, meaning I can break things super far away. Like, look at this. I'm breaking stone way over there. So with our final tier four ability unlocked, it is time to move on to tier five. Now, if you're a big fan of these videos, you already know where I'm going with this because for tier five, we have to go to the end to unlock these tier five upgrades, meaning we have to go to the end. And the first step in getting to the end is is getting to the nether. Now, luckily, even though I'm a huge dragon, we've actually given me the ability to shrink down by holding shift so I can still fit in my nether portal. Okay, now let's just head to a nether fortress and get some blaze rods. There was one nether fortress that did not have a spawner and this could have been it. There may be a spawner right above me. Oh, there is, look at it, it's kind of like hidden. I actually like this. And there we go, we now have nine blaze rods. Now let's make our way to a bastion and get a bunch of gold blocks and start trading for some ender pearls. Here's a bastion here. Let's just steal some gold blocks. I don't like these ones usually because they don't have too many, but it shouldn't be too bad because we can do this. Oh, I'm going down. Okay, well that broke downward. That's not really what I wanted, but hey, there's some gold blocks right here. Mine that up real quick. No! Oh, actually we have a bunch of gold on us. I don't need to trade. We have three stacks. We just need to trap piglins and start trading. Okay, we got a few in there now. Let's just get the gold in there so they can start trading. Okay, they should start trading for some ender pearls now. Oh, looks like you're all done. Good job, guys. We have a stack of ender pearls. Let's see if there's any more because we may just not pick up the rest. There could be some more in here. No, I think that's it. Okay, well, we officially have 16 ender pearls, which is all we need. So now it's just time to head to the end. Okay, so now that we have all the eyes of ender that we're going to need, we can now start making our way to the end. So let's start by activating our final quest, which required. Wait, I just realized the quest is to kill two ender dragons, not just one. I guess we're going to have to summon another one later, but I'm not going to worry about that for a sec. For now, let's just go ahead and throw off an eye of ender, which is going that way. And now let's follow that path and make our way to the stronghold. Okay, so the stronghold is definitely like right around here somewhere and this is going down okay so it is it's literally right down here let's just squeeze our way in real quick and let's start digging down 
Oh, we're in. Oh, we're in. Oh, we're in jail. Oh, gosh. Help me. Okay, so the portal room is right there. It's kind of like we go into this room here, okay? And then we're in the portal room. Boom. We got it. We're in. Now let's just put all the eyes in and let's go to the end. Okay, now we just got to take on the Ender Dragon. Let's do this. I'm actually really excited because it's dragon versus dragon and I don't have to deal with the hunters right now. They haven't gotten any end achievements, so I know they're not even close. All the towers are gone. Now we just got to take out this guy. Oh, we can hit him from here. Look at this. And he can't hit us. Ice Dragon over Ender Dragon. Am I right? I'm kicking this thing's butt. Oh, we win. See the popsicle? And he's done. Boom. That's one kill on an Ender Dragon done with. And now we need to get the dragon egg because we need to get that to get draconic visage i don't know what that's supposed to be but you know what doesn't matter we got the egg no one's here to really bug me about it so i guess the egg's just mine and there we go we have the dragon egg now let's make our way to the outer end because we have to get ourselves a dragon head which we can only get at an elytra ship so uh since we're a dragon this should be no way is that one right there that would be so oh no it doesn't have an elytra ship that would have been so sweet if we just had one on the first go like that whatever we could fly it really shouldn't be too hard to find okay we have one up here does it have an elytra ship no this one also doesn't have an elytra dang it dude that's a shame oh another one and it has an electric ship. Oh, dude, I was getting excited. I was like, man, I'm flying and I'm not finding anything. And then boom. Well, that was nice and easy. Now we can get the dragon head, which is right here. So we'll just put some end stone below it. Break the dragon head. And now it's ours. We're done in the end for now. Let's get out of here. Okay, so now that we're done in the end, there's only a few things left we need. We need to get a heart of the sea, three skull catalysts, another kill on the ender dragon, the two birds, one arrow advancement. And then we just need three kills at level 50, three totems of undying, and a beacon. So overall, not too hard. Well, except for one of those, that is. Because getting the two birds, one arrow advancement actually is kind of hard because you have to kill two phantoms with a piercing arrow. So in the meantime, while we don't sleep for the next three days, we're going to do something else instead. And that's finish up everything we need to finish in the nether. So let's go into our nether portal. And now let's work together all the stuff we're going to need to battle the ender dragon once again. Oh, and all the stuff we're going to need to get a beacon. In fact, let's start by heading to another fortress and getting all the wither skulls we're going to need for that beacon. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have the three Wither Skeleton Skulls, let's just mine them back up real quick. And now that we have that, let's start killing some gas for their gas tiers. Okay, there we go. Four gas tiers done with, which means once I grab four Soul Sand, we'll be out of here. Okay, so now that we're out of the nether, let's summon the wither on this island in the middle of the ocean. So we'll just put the three heads on top. And we got ourselves a wither. And now we gotta kill him with our Dragon Claws. And he's dead. Now let's eat our popsicles so we don't die. And then let's grab that nether star so we can make a beacon, which is what we need to become the Lord of Ice, the final dragon evolution, which I'm sure some of you guys are definitely gonna think is cooler than this one. I just disagree. But now that we're done with that, it's time to respawn the ender dragon and prove to him once again why the ice dragon is cooler. Okay, so let's make one more eye of ender real quick. And now let's combine those eyes of ender with a bunch of gas tears to make ourselves a bunch of end crystals. I'm too short on the glass. Crud. Okay, let's wait for those to smell real quick. And now we can make the final end crystal. Now let's go back to the end and let's actually battle the dragon. Okay, actually Actually, one more thing before I actually go out. Uh, let's grab these diamonds real quick. Let's make ourselves a chest plate and a helmet. Put on diamond armor that I thought I had. And now we're good to start heading to the end. Okay, right, here's our entrance to the end portal. Uh, that's not my torch. I did not put a torch down. And that's a one by two staircase going down to the fortress. That's literally not mine. Okay, the end portal's literally just straight ahead. But people have definitely been through here now. I never opened this door either. So someone has definitely been through here. And I don't see them in the stronghold, which means they're probably right in here through the portal waiting with some kind of trap for me. I'm a little nervous. I'm sorry in advance, audience, if I die here let's just go in let's just go in go oh gosh oh he's here he's here he's here oh no they have me hooked oh they're trying to pull me wait they can't pull. <gasps> hold on they're pulling me out if i can freeze him hit zero i froze me he can't move me now what no he froze me bro Yes, he's dead. I'm free. I knew they had a trap set up. Okay, let's put the four end crystals down. Ready? We put one there. And now we're resummoning the dragon. Yes! Let's let him resummon real quick. And boom, the dragon summoned. Boom! We're back, baby. And uh, so are they. Okay, we need to be the one to kill this ender dragon. So I'm just gonna really work to just kill him as fast as I can. All right, we gotta destroy these first. Now we just gotta take out the dragon. Oh, I think they may have hooked me. Did they get the hook? Or is that that's just random arrows? They're just shooting arrows at me. That's fine. As long as it's not that weird crossbow thing they got. Okay, one's dead, one's dead, one's dead. This is our chance. We can get the Oh, they're hooking me! We're freezing, we're freezing, we're freezing. He's trying to TP me and he's trying to ender pearl in. We got him, yes! Oh gosh. Oh. oh my god, he almost got me there. We got him, we got him, he's done, he's done. Yes, we got it! Okay, here's our chance. Let's get these kills now. He's done. Yes! She's done, she's done, she's done. Let's eat this popsicle, grab this XP, and let's get out of here. Okay, so I'd say that went pretty well. We ended up finishing two quests instead of just the one I wanted. And now we just have to get two birds, one arrow, three totems of undying for the Lord of Ice, and then just some like other stuff for the draconic visage. And luckily for us, insomnia should start tonight, so we should be able to get the two birds, one arrow if I do it right. But it's gonna require a little setup and finding a good area for it. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut down a tree using our dragon claws. And now using these logs, we're gonna go ahead and craft ourselves a crafting table and then a boat. And now our goal is simple: we trap two phantoms inside of the boat 
punching them a few times and then shooting them with a piercing arrow. One problem, I don't have a piercing crossbow. So first things first, we're going to make ourselves some sticks, put the stick in the middle, put a wooden plank below it, and put an iron ingot on top to make ourselves some tripwire hooks. And now we take all these items you see on screen and put them where they belong in the crafting table, and bada bing bada boom, we have a crossbow. And now I don't have to worry about spending my XP levels because I've already finished the quest of killing three players at level 50. So now we can spend those levels and try and get ourselves piercing. Now we just need to get two birds, one arrow when the phantoms start to spawn tonight. Okay, there we go. The sun is starting to set. I found a super flat area that we can do this on. Okay, here they come. Die for the boat, please. No, they missed the boat. Come on, get in the boat. Yes, one. Oh, wait, there's two of them in there. Wait, what? Okay, now we have to be super duper careful here. Now I just shoot straight through and it should work. <gasps> it actually did! Oh my goodness! I've never done that achievement in my life and oh my god, that was way too hard. Shout out to Goggle on YouTube for giving me a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, now that we're done with that, we legit just need to get three totems of undying and three skull catalysts and we'll be done. So let's start by heading to the ancient cities that we know are below spawn over here. And then using our silk touch pickaxe, we'll simply mine up a bunch of skull catalysts throughout the area. There we go, we now have three skull catalysts. Meaning all we need to get now is three totems of undying. But before we go and start on that, let's try out some of our new tier five powers. I also apparently forgot I two hearts of the sea by the way i just noticed that but you know whatever we can fly that'll be easy but we can unlock the arctic particle beam okay so uh i unlocked the ability but i think because i'm only a tier four frozen dragon i can't actually use it i think i need to be the lord of ice which means we are gonna work on getting the three totems of undying so let's start by getting a bunch of sugar cane inside of the desert which pretty much spawns everywhere okay now that we have the sugar cane we just need a lot of sand and that's all the sand we'll need. Now let's head on home and turn that sand into some glass panes. Okay, cool. We'll let this glass melt real quick. And when we do that, we're going to go ahead and take all our sugar cane and turn it into paper. Okay, there we go. All the glass is officially smelted. And now we can turn this into glass panes. And now with everything in hand, we can start trading to get a woodland mansion map. After we sleep. I don't want to deal with phantoms. Okay, so let's just use this village right here. And let's put down our cartography table and see if we can get someone to take the job. We got a cartographer. Okay, cool. Now we'll trade with this guy. And we're going to trade him a bunch of paper for some emeralds. And then like usual, we trade him the glass panes for even more emeralds, which in turn gets us the the woodland mansion map that we need if i would just remember to bring a compass why do i always forget the compass one compass later okay cool we got the woodland explorer map now and now let's follow it to the woodland mansion and let's start this raid oh here we go the map's starting to generate we're getting close to this thing this is a cool woodland mansion look at that well now we just need to get all the totems inside real quick we're actually carve a bunch of holes in this place and then just kind of get out of here pretty quick okay i just carved a huge hole in this place let the battle begin okay i see one over here we're taking a lot of damage there we go, one totem. I got the two totems, but I need to get these back. I need those for one of my upgrades, so give me my catalysts back. There we go, we got him. Okay, we gotta find the last illusioner in here, wherever he is. Oh, I definitely heard one. There's one right here. I knew I heard one. Yes, we got it. Let's get out. Oh, there's another one. We can get four totems. We killed him. Yes, that's four totems. And with that, I believe we're all pretty much done. I just need to get the hearts of the sea tomorrow. Okay, first things first, we take three obsidian. We surround it with a bunch of glass. We put this star in the middle, and that makes us the beacon we need. Okay, and with the beacon in hand, we can now become the Lord of Ice. But let's just fly over to a more clear island, and then we'll unlock it. So, let's go ahead. Let's unlock the Lord of Ice. Whoa! He is huge! In fact, he looks pretty similar as before, but he also has this crazy ice crown on his head. Okay, I take back what I said. This one's way cooler now that I'm seeing it in game for the first time. Oh, yeah, and then for the boring stuff uh, he's got a lot of extra hearts he's got a lot of extra powers you get the idea this dragon is strong oh and i can test actually our arctic beam ability now that we're at tier five so uh say goodbye to this island did it actually work this time maybe i'm just using it wrong hold on what if i hold it down oh oh my gosh look at that Whoa! <laughs> let's do that like in the middle of this forest yeah look at that that's so cool okay that ability is super cool and now there's only one tier five left which is draconic visage we just need to get too hard of the sea to unlock it that just means finding two buried treasure in fact let me check my base real quick and let's make sure i don't have a heart of the sea because i know i saw one earlier i just don't remember if i yeah i grabbed it it's right here meaning now we just need one more oh i see a shipwreck in the distance oh it's actually sticking out of the water let's see if we can get a buried treasure map check that chest okay that's just an award chest boom buried treasure we're good so let's just grab the buried treasure map and now let's follow it because i think we're guaranteed a heart of the sea yeah it's somewhere right below us here i see it there it is we got it second heart of the sea acquired and with that in hand we can unlock whatever this ability is because i don't know how to say it but luckily i can read the ability so i know what it does and i can test it though it wouldn't do anything right now so i'll use it and you'll see i turn completely invisible and i'll stay invisible until i attack something in which case i become invincible to it for an additional 10 seconds and now we just have to survive until day 100 and we'll win this challenge as an ice dragon but i know the hunters are planning something so you know what let's actually prevent whatever they're doing let's just go destroy their base and hope that it slows them down enough where we just win since the dragon hunters abandoned yet another base i went searching for what i would hope to be their final base but only time is gonna tell if this attack will stop the dragon hunters once and for all <gasps> i see them they're floating i found their base they're up on this hill hello oh watch out we gotta be careful they have three cages up on this base they definitely 
we put those cages on the roof so we don't land there, which is honestly pretty smart. First things first, let's ice breath this a little bit because I don't want to get hit. Oh no, I got rid of some of their stuff. Now I could just nuke their base from here, but that's not fun. So let's just have a little fun with this, shall we? See if we can get him in the cage. If we can get him in the cage, that would be huge. Did I get him in? Ah, he's in! Oh, he hit me in the cage. No. He's literally having to kill himself. Like he's shooting arrows straight up to try and hit himself. Yes, we got two trapped on the roof! Ow. No, he trapped me in a cage, bro. What? Dude, these dragon cages are working against them. Yeah, we're supposed to capture you. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's just leave them with a little present. Drop a giant laser on their base. Here we go. See you later. What is that? Oh, oh my what? gosh. Our base is gone. Oh my goodness. They're stuck and frozen up there. This is awful. Oh, yeah, we got her, we got her, we got her. And you guys, uh, you have fun being trapped. Good luck. And so now all I have to do is wait for the dragon hunters to make a move. Because I know they won't just let me win. But I think I've slowed them down enough to prevent any big plans at the end here. What was the sound? I just heard a sound. Surprise, Ice Dragon! Uh, no, no, they're coming in, they're coming in. Go, go, outside, outside, outside. Oh, there's cages everywhere. I knew it, I knew it. They're trying to get me outside. And they can drag me around. They got a light They're trying to, like, hook me. Let's use our new ability, Dragon's Visage. And now invisible. Oh, he had me invisible, I see. But now I hit him, so I should be invincible to him, so he can't hit me. Nope, it actually unhooked me. Because I become invincible they can't do it so it breaks me free oh god oh god the explosion's coming oh one of them hit me one of them hit me one of them hit me one stuck in the water dome oh we got him from underneath the water yes fight me fight me like a man ice dragon oh gosh there we go he's frozen we got him but they can fly around while frozen do they he has me hooked i got him i got him i'm taking him to the cage wait dragon visage dragon visage nice we got him he's dead oh my god he just jump scared me again oh Nice, she's gone, she's gone. Does he have me hooked? He has me hooked again. Dude, this guy's insane, he hooked me. I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. Where are they coming from? They keep coming back. This way, they're coming from over the mountain. The village, he knows where I'm spawning. They are literally coming in from this village below me. Let's destroy the whole thing. That's the only way we can get rid of their beds permanently. Okay, I would say that's their beds, wouldn't you? Oh wait, doomed to fall. Oh, they're still respawning, that house. Okay, two of them are frozen right there. Now let's destroy their beds. There we go, there we go, there we go. Beds are definitely gone. He's dead. I don't think he's gonna respawn. Let me just double check. Oh, he's still very alive. Okay, one definitely spawned here. So let's just activate one here. Got him. What's this spear? Okay, they can't see me right now. They have no idea where I went. Got him. What is that? He's done. He's done. He's done. He won't be respawning anymore. Now there's only two more to go. I don't think there's any more beds left in this village. We hit her once. Oh! No! That was a snipe! There should be one more somewhere, right? I just went through the chat logs. There's still one here. Um, truce. Hmm, you've only been trying to kill me for an entire video. I don't think this is gonna end well for you, buddy. Oh, God! I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, that was so funny. This Arctic beam is so cool. And they failed to get me in the dragon cage. They still have a few days left, though. But I don't know what they're gonna do, though, because I literally just destroyed them again. I think the dragon's just a little OP. But we still have a few more days to survive. Oh, no, they're logging out. Let me join their chat. Wait, you guys are quitting? Dude, oh, yeah. this dragon is just too powerful. <laughs> I'll give you this one. For once, we made one of our things too broken, and I'll agree. Normally, I won't, but this one's a little broken. I'm not even gonna make you guys say it this time. I'm gonna say it. The ice dragon wins! Hey, guys, it's me again, reminding you to go download Top Troops in the description down below or by simply scanning the QR code you see on screen right now. Oh, and uh, thanks again, Top Troops, for sponsoring the video.